The Jebel Ali and Al Warsan sewage treatment plants are located in Dubai and managed by the Dubai municipality. They are designed for a capacity of 675,000 cubic meters per day. Sewage Treatment Plants Network Department manages the processes of sewage water treatment, maintenance of sewage treatment plants, transfer and pump sewage and surface water, maintenance of sewage and surface water networks and pumping stations. In addition, it provides such services as apply to register sewage tankers, apply for sewage water withdrawal, and apply to purchase organic fertilizers. At such enterprises, the management pays great attention to quality training of personnel before performing dangerous types of work and constantly monitors the improvement of safety culture. For this purpose the Dubai municipality has implemented a comprehensive training system using VR technology for the operational and maintenance personnel of two sewage treatment plants, Jebel Ali and Al Warsan. The main objective was to increase the speed and quality of training of new employees on the plant as well as to reduce the number of errors made by the operational and maintenance personnel during daily operations and in case of emergencies. A virtual training system includes three basic modules. The first one is an interactive map of the facility. Employees can explore the location and purpose of all production zones, the regulations of access to each of them, as well as the scheme of technological processes of the enterprises. The second part is training simulator for operational personnel, that includes the emulation of the plant's process control system, based on a mathematical model of the technological processes. It is also integrated with the virtual environment and this module contains scenarios for process control and scenarios for emergency situations such as fire, flooding and power blackout. And the third part is a virtual simulator for maintenance personnel, which allows practicing operation and maintenance skills for three types of equipment, decanter, thermal dryer and solar dryer. Tell us more about the Dubai municipality's strategic view. Dubai municipality's strategic view and plan is connected to Dubai plan, Dubai 2030. Dubai municipality's objectives is to have a developed infrastructure while implementing the best technologies available in the market. We want the best also for our staff when it comes to occupational and health and safety. We also want to implement an integrated digital system in our activities and works. Why did you decide to use VR for training the personnel on the STP? VR will help Dubai municipality to lower its expenditures on training. Not only that, it will also reduce the human errors, which will lead into a reduction in our operational KPI, which is the operational cost and maintenance cost. It will also help us to increase the productivity of our staff and also reduce the equipment downtime. Tell us about staff training. What kind of staff is critical to train? How do you traditionally train and onboard them? What issues did you face in the process of training your staff? What benefits do you see in using VR? It is important to train our employees, both operation and maintenance, and make sure that they are knowledgeable about the whole operation of the sewage treatment plants. So we need to undergo any new employees into special training programs. And we had to depend on regulation and instructions to train these employees and to utilize our seniors uh, that are available in the plant to train these employees. But with this approach, we had a lot of issues in, in managing and uh, utilizing our senior engineers since they are already managing a lot of tasks and responsibilities in the plant. And also on another aspect, the risk and safety of the new employees, since they are more prone to injuries or risks in the, in the field. So we opted for VR technology so that we can train our employees in a safe environment before stepping into the field. Please. Tell us about the usage of the new virtual training system. How has it helped to improve the process of personnel training? So this, uh, this VR training system is, uh, is uh, very helpful for us engineers and also all the technicians that are working on the field. Uh, this VR system shows uh, show you exactly the, the sewage treatment plant as it is, either uh, Warsan treatment or uh, Jabal Ali. So, uh, so when, you, when you want to learn something, 
uh, instead of going there like uh, uh, you can you can start here because it's uh, easier and user friendly so you can use the VR system to to learn about any machine in the in the STP uh, plus it increases your uh, knowledge about uh, the whole STP and it's uh, too much uh, detailed so every single piece in any machine is there uh, plus it's a user friendly as we said uh, anyone can come and use it to get uh, knowledge about either the VR system or the STPs uh, of uh, Dubai municipality. What is the main value of implementing a virtual training system for Dubai municipality? VR system will have 2D maps and 3D maps. Visitors and staff can move in the plant using the VR without actually going to the site. This will help us a lot when we receive visitors not taking, to, not taking them to hazardous areas such as the plant itself. Dubai municipality wants to implement a pioneering sustainable practices in its work. We also want to provide a smart and integrated services and solution. We also want to manage our assets and financial resources properly in the best way possible. How many staff are already using the simulator? How has the staff responded to the introduction of the new tool into the training process? More than 150 employees had uh, been listed in the training program. We, and we already finished from the first batch, which were 20 employees. And we received the feedback from them. And it was a very positive feedback, especially from the younger generation. Since the VR system uh, simulated what is available in the site, uh, exactly the same thing with the same details. So they felt comfortable working and training on the VR system, same as they were doing it on the field. And it was, and they could try all things in a very safe environment. What main business effect do you expect to get from the introduction of the virtual simulator based on the results of pilot operation? Basically, VR will help us increase our productivity. The employees' productivity will increase by half an hour daily, and this will lead into reducing the operational cost and maintenance cost by 30%. It will also help us to reduce the equipment downtime by 30%. Not only that, it will help us to reduce human errors in the STP, which is a very critical asset to Dubai municipality.